What's up guys, this is Save Knight, and welcome back to Let's Play Ultima, Quest of the Avatar for the Nintendo. Last episode, I explored the town of Vesper, which is a little village that's southeast of, um, Minoc. Uh, there's a weapon shop, you know, like a, like a, okay-ish weapons. Expo, that's pretty good. Uh, there's also a guild where you can buy some tools to use, and you can also get a sextant, which will tell you your latitude and longitude. It's not really necessary for the game, but I'll just get it for um, completionist things. There's also an inn there, and a guy teaches you the recipe for a destroy spell. And from there, I actually headed northwest to Menok, the city of sacrifice. And you walk inside, and the city is mostly destroyed, and the actual handbook itself says that someone had used the Skull of Mundane there, which is why it looks the way it does. So, oopsie on them. You can recruit Julius, the tinker there, but my level's not high enough to get him, so he's still there. You learn that sacrifice is made from truth and... no, I'm sorry, from love and courage. Its stone color is orange, and it's found in the dungeon of Covetous, which is actually nearby. And, um... Not really much else to do there, so I left there, and I actually headed back towards Britain. Where they tell you the Shrine of Compassion has crossed two bridges to the east. You actually head across that second bridge, but it's actually surrounded by water, and someone actually tells you there's a hidden village nearby on a lake that's, like, surrounded by land somewhere. I'm sorry, uh, let me try that again. The largest inland lake, that's what I meant to say. And that actually happened to be there, so I just waited out, found a pirate ship that sailed by, took it, and then sailed to the actual town that's just up and around the corner. Once inside, I learned the spell recipe for Gate, which is fucking nice. And I picked up the Candle of Love, which is used at the end of the game. They told me it was okay to take it, so fuck them. You learn something about spirituality and humility. Some kind of bullshit. And then from there, I actually made my way back to Moonglow. Up and around the right side, to the northern island, to Hia, which is the... Dungeon Deceit, which is the Dungeon for Honesty, and I just kind of called it right there, and I went off screen, and got Yana a bow, because I got tired of her using a fucking sling, also picked up a few tools, which I probably bought way too many, and a few herbs just to have some. I'm going to go ahead and start this dungeon. Torches will light your way for like a certain period of time, and Gems will actually show you a map of the inside. Everything is actually laid out in an 8x8 area, and it will always keep you centered in the map, or as centered as possible. That is a fountain... I don't think I fought these yet, but I think these you only fight in the dungeon. These are slimes. Just that freaking thing that was just not cutting it anymore. And here you have fountains, you can search at them. I'm sorry, a spring. You just drink from it. I feel nothing. That one was a curing spring uh, that will cure you if you're poisoned. Uh, there's four of them. There's a healing fountain, a harmful fountain, a poison fountain, and a curing fountain. Healing one, obviously. It heals you. Uh, full life. The harmful one, I think, takes like a hundred hit points off. The poison one poisons you, and curing one, well, cures your poison. Go down the stairs. Uh, Another gem. Jesus. Those little square thingies are rooms. Or at least passageways into rooms. Hey, 
that's right. And some rooms will actually have monsters. Lots of monsters. Okay, that's an Eden. I fought that already. These are headless. As you can see by them not having a head. And these are mimics. Enemies that look like treasure chests. Kind of really attack the wrong enemies. Really meant to kill these first. Because they projectile things at you in your face. But well, they're not very hard to kill. Thirteen XP. That's not bad. And treasure chests, which you are allowed to take. Ooh, ninety-eight. That's good. Ooh, eighty-eight. Damn. Yeah, it's the same thing of what I just fought. Alrighty. And these chests will actually respawn. Like any chest you find in like a whatever will come back. So like if I leave this room and then come back into it, the enemies will be back, but so will the treasure chests. So you can just farm the shit out of them. And some dungeons actually have floors that are just filled with treasure chests, which you can also farm too. You can just leave and come back and they're there. So you can just get them all and then just leave and then just fucking, fucking, fucking. How the hell do I get? Okay, so that's straight down and that's off the whatever, okay? This is a magic sphere. No, not talk to it. Magic ball, whatever the fuck. Stop touching your balls. Um, du each dungeon will actually have these. And when you touch them, it'll actually drain a certain amount of life, but it will turn around and raise a stat by five points. I'm in the dungeon of deceit, which is truth, which is... Technic is supposed to be intelligence, but the, it's fucking dex for some reason. No, not talk to the fucking orb. So I touch it. it. Takes 200 hit points, and I didn't even fucking check to see what it was earlier, and my dex is now 31, which I know it wasn't that. I think it was like 25 or 26, some shit like that. 26, whatever his, his MP says. 26. When you leave and come back, these will respawn as well. And you can do that until, and each dungeon will have those as well. There's going to be different amounts of life that they take off. Up to, like, the ones you get in, I think, Dungeon Hithloth, which will do all three of them, but it's like seven, like six or seven hundred hit points, so you need to be, like, level eight for this shit to happen. But it's like, fuck that crap. fight enemies, or I, I think, yeah, I already said that, you fight enemies, but they don't drop treasure chests for some reason, uh, jam, and this is one of those floors, pick up all these taste of chests, 15 of them, and if I leave and come back, they'll be back, which I'm actually going to do. When I'm done with the dungeon, I'll just come back and just farm the shit out of all these. Oh no, goddammit. Go back down, you fucker. You 
suck. Better. Oh, you motherfucker. God damn it. Okay, you suck. Eh. That's better. That's really nice. I even checked to see how much money I freaking had before I even started doing this. Seems to me when I have Iolo search chest, he more than often gets like, you know, higher amounts. Seems like a thousand forty-one already. I mean, fifteen chests. I mean, I did get a couple that were like one, four, nine, but then I ended up getting like what three eighty some chests back to back, and then those four chests I picked up earlier from that room. Uh, so I mean, I know I came in here with at least like probably close to 200 gold, uh, and then I probably picked up from those four chests probably another almost 200. If not more than that. So I got about like five, 600 gold for doing that, roughly-ish. No, chill the fuck out. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. Yes. Okay. I can get more monies and a fountain. God damn it. My herbs. Not too bad. So now I am now 36. I want to do that just for him and all the dungeons and shit. So his stats cap at 50. Everyone else, I'll just let get their natural like statage. Give me this. No, god fucking damn it. Guess I go all the way across. Get money. That's a hundred right there. Got the torch. What kind of fountain is this one? Okay, so that's a poison fountain. Now I got, you know, what, 200? Go down the stairs again. And each dungeon is going to be eight floors deep. With various things in it. Uh, okay, those are 
wizards. That's a cyclops, and these are, I think, hydras. So I want to show off like a spell if I have enough to do it. It's called Quick. And when cast, it'll give each character two rounds, or two turns per round. Uh, which is a lay awesome sauce. I don't know what the fuck that was. Just whatever command that you input, it'll do it twice, if it's able to. If you attack, it, it'll attack. If you move, it'll move. Or if you put auto, it'll just do whatever two random commands. Damn, yeah, 14 for the hydras, shit. I fucking hate wizards. Oh, man, that didn't last very long. I think it's a random between like two to four rounds. For thing and deal stuff. Oh, you fucking suck, asshole. If you cast it again, I'm a fucking... You miss, you little bitch. And for some reason, there's like several rooms in the game that do this number, where there's three chests on a ledge, and you see this right here? That's actually supposed to be a switch. But they never work, for some reason. So, because it's supposed to un like open that thing, and you're supposed to go up there to get the three chests, but it's always borkened. Like up the other thing. Nope. Use Gemma. That room uh, to that side. Uh, let's go down uh, again. I don't even know why the hell he even had that there. Yeah, so his dex was like 41, so it's it's almost fucking capped. Wrong button. And that little cup symbol is the uh, stone room. I went the wrong fucking way. The other one. Fucking lovely. Okay, here we go. One more fucking time. So I just back it. So go left and go down. Okay. So I just. Meh. And tra la 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 la. -la. The stone guardian talketh to them. Dost thou ever lie to thyself or to others? The answer will always be yes. Regardless of how the question's worded or what it sounds like, it is always going to be yes. Thou dost know truth. Like, have you ever lied to others? Yes, you have. Open now the box and take up the blue stone of honesty. You look around, you find a chest who will open it. Shaman will open the chest. Shaman will find the Stani of Blue. Go up the stairs and poof. You get warped out. Now that's some nice, tasty fucking money right there. 
And I'll, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it right here. When we come back, I will have gotten the shits. Not the shits. I already had the shits earlier. I will have gotten some upgrades. Like a few. I will go back in the dungeon. And I will grind the fuck out of those treasure chests. And, um... Uh, I mean, you can show you something real quick with that, just to show you that they actually do, in fact, respawn. I'm going to just cut straight back to that one room, so give me a second. And I am back, and all the chests are back, and all the orbs are back, so I'm going to go off screen, get a fuck ton of money, and start buying, like, the super good shit. Like the X bow, maybe like a plus one bow. I'm definitely going to get a fucking plus one axe for me. Maybe like a plus two sword. I mean, I'm not going to get crazy with it and just outfit everyone. I'll just get like enough good things for right now that'll last them for a while. So, until next time, this is Save Knight on Let's Play Ultima Quest of the Avatar. Later, guys.